I think it'd be silly. A guy's just saying you should make Siri a running gag. I'm like, I don't know about that. I don't even know what they're talking about. During the uh, Nino Cooney part, when I asked uh, Siri what the weather was outside, it was like hot. Oh. Siri, do you want to be part of the running gag? I have everything I need already. <laughs> Good to know. I couldn't find any places matching Good to know. You're a bitch. Now, now. <laughs> Damn phone. Okay. <laughs> I am putting that at the start of the video. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Play Skyward Sword. It's the part we've been dreading. <laughs> Don't say that ahead of time. Now people are clicking away from the video. We're going to have the best time ever dealing with the worst padding since the Serta mattress. It's like we're in a gymnasium. We're all learning gymnastics in this really puffy room. We're losing our minds. So what we're doing here is... Uh, we're heading to the sealed grounds because we can't land anywhere else. Hey, it's Gruz. <laughs> and oh my fucking god, we already fought this guy! What?! No! What does he have now? What appendage was he missing this time? <laughs> yes, we know. We were kind of messed up here. I was uh, poking the demon hole down there, and uh... <laughs> my bad. Turns out the Grusinator is very accurate. <laughs> Which is kind of weird to say with anything related to Grus. <laughs> Tell her what's up. I don't remember why I have half health right now. <laughs> I had a rough morning. Yes. Maybe I got hit by the Grusinator. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I do like the sting when it shows up. It's a cool little sting, but you're just like, STUPID CHARACTER! Wait. Muppet scales and teeth. <laughs> Bozzy Bear! Gets no other appendages, what the fuck. I think he grew a tail now. Someone swinging behind him. They'd be funny to they'd be imprisoned and then, like, this, like, nailed on three per. Uh, part three. <laughs> hey. Yes, it is. It's exactly the same. <laughs> what does the tail do? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so, um. This game is worth playing, right? Uh. <laughs> we'll switch over to here to this view and let's see if your aim's got better. Yes, it did. Oh. Woo! <laughs> I still like that thumper to stand to like, oh, for fuck's sake, that hurt. <laughs> now, there are a couple things different with this fight. Uh, first, if I were to just try to jump onto him, he would actually shake me off. So I used uh, the Grusinator to stun him. Also, uh, he has a halo. So it's the imprisoned Jesus. <laughs> it holds its hands out to its side like, that's offensive. <laughs> <laughs> he had to take off his pants to do that? I mean, why is he got his tan legs going, Woo, you caught me! Sorry, I was laying a bomb. This is a very strange pose for him, and yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> so thankfully, they at least change it up a little bit, because now we have to use a Grusinator for pretty much the entire fight. When he starts flying, just hit him in the face with the bomb. He'll fall all the way down to the bottom. And then we just take care of him that one. The third time around, he's going to do it completely differently. It's basically like Angel Muppet Godzilla. It, it's still very annoying that so soon after already fighting this guy, we're doing it again. It's pretty much the cue for the uh, developers to say, we have run out of ideas. And this entire video is just going to show that. Again, shut up! We gotta get people to watch this! I mean, look at that! Look how badass that Halo is. And how did that happen? <laughs> he didn't even ever hit rubble! Damn, and he knocked over my Legos! 
So I need, now I need to head all the way up to Gruus very quickly, because uh, the, the prison's flying. And um, when he gets to the top, he waits a really long time. Like, he's pretty much waiting on you and giving you a chance. <laughs> he's just, like, raising his hands, like, come on, man. <laughs> I mean, seriously, what the fuck is with that tail? It gains a halo, which gives it a flying ability. That has no purpose. Oh, I see what's gonna happen here. Mm hmm. Sorry, I was just trying to fix this or something. I don't know why I was there. So, hop in. <laughs> no, we're going clown cannon here. Well, I don't want to jump right into his mouth, so I'm gonna move to the back. <laughs> Sweep it like basketball. <laughs> he just looks like a dumb puppy hanging in midair. <laughs> He's holding up his arms limp to its side, just like, I don't know what to do here. So yeah, that wasn't that bad, but we didn't need to do it again this quickly. You know, I have to say, at the very least, they made it a little bit different from the last two fights. Yeah. And Groose is proving to be even more useful now. And it is also a sign that the guy is slowly starting to uh, break free from the little spell that's keeping him there. <laughs> You'd think it broke, like, long ago, but of course it doesn't show up until the hero shows up. How convenient. It does feel a bit like Power Rangers, where you just fight the same guy over and over again. <laughs> I'm gonna go big this time! I gotta fight him again and destroy him, and he destroys a bunch of buildings and all that shit. <laughs> hey! <laughs> His arm to the side, like, I don't want to do this again. <laughs> From the way he was holding the sword, it looked kind of like he ran out of arm strength that was just slowly falling backwards. <laughs> Fighting these in prisons every day gets tiring. That almost looks like a Triforce. I'm sorry, you still look dorky with the little arm sword thing going on with the motion controls. <laughs> Even after that, you look dumb. I think with that, he looked dumb. That'd be funny, literally right afterwards, the imprisoned starts coming out again. Oh, come on! <laughs> Would be even better if Cruz just started running behind him into the imprisoned's mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's up on top now, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you fool, bombs would only make it stronger. Now, if the Imprisoned were to make it all the way to the top, all it would do is just show the old lady looking up at him, uh, the Imprisoned getting closer, and then cut to game over. That's really it. Because if they kill the old lady, the world is doomed. So the forest has been flooded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. For reasons. <laughs> Not good reasons. Oh yeah, I'm feeling sure you feel safe saying that from all the way over here. I'll be fine, you can deal with it, right? I guess there's another reason to have that fight again, to show off using the Grusinator for travel. Because uh, now we can jump into the Grusinator and have Grus shoot us to any of the three uh, provinces. And through that we can get into the now flooded uh, forest. Still seems kind of stupid. <laughs> Could you just fly there? Yeah, exactly. Floodwaters are blocking the sky. <laughs> and you notice the flood the floodwaters are not blocking a certain uh, bird statue we c which we could land on. Um. <laughs> yeah. Please just give Drew some luck here. He's been crying for months now. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't exactly figured out a way to get you back. I only have one Grusinator here. <laughs> Funny shit. Wait, that's towards the desert! <laughs> <laughs> you just fly back like sand all in your hat like you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
Good thing he didn't launch you into the volcano. Those poor ball sack monsters. No, nope, they're fine. <laughs> ball sacks can float. <laughs> And the penguin family decided to show up for reasons. <laughs> this is the calmest flood I've ever seen. Yeah. So, so ridiculously high. You'd think the water would be spreading out or something. No one seems to mind. <laughs> it doesn't help when your voice is like that ball sack man. <laughs> 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 like, it was, like it was so obvious. Hey, I wonder why I'm here. This water. I'm not really here to see you. Oh God! It's even scarier that he has these like human muscle arms. <laughs> <laughs> it's a man in a ball sack suit. I just noticed I still have that beacon active. That's from like part four. That is kind of weird. And why are there fish here now? Water. <laughs> Did it rain fish? It's just a slight sprinkling of fish. So what I need to do is find the person who caused this, and I have a pretty good idea who it is, and they're hanging out inside the great tree. Is it the water god? Close. It is probably Gruce's tears. <laughs> it's his fault. <laughs> that would have been a better explanation, honestly. <laughs> It would have made a little better sense and felt less like a ripoff. You know, it'd be really disgusting if this was just that um, one guy sweat from working out so much. God. <laughs> I did so many push-ups for you, Link. <laughs> I had to put it somewhere. Either of those answers would have been better. <laughs> Anything. Anything would be better than you swimming through sweat full of eels. <laughs> Think about that. Knew it, you bastard. I'm an asshole. <laughs> what an asshole. Little fish trap falls up. Asshole. He <laughs> jumps in the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at my bosom. God, what a creeper. <laughs> <laughs> Funny if he did that, but I actually stabbed him through the throat. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry! Just managed to... Oh, he's dead. So this is why I bitch about the padding at this point in the game. It literally has no reason to happen. The entire reason this forest is flooded, because she decided to flood it. No good reason, she decided to flood it. Well, hey, she flooded, she knew you'd show up to find it while it was flooded. I don't know. And so, to get her part of the song, which is the reason we're here, I have to do this really obnoxious minigame. It's basically a treasure hunt, with not a very easy way of finding the treasure. And it's not the most fun collecting the individual pieces of it. You lose it and she blows a trumpet in her face, you're like, oh, fucking clown. <laughs> He's my son. <laughs> Look, that bird statue is right there. <laughs> For fuck's sake. So, you know what? The fact you even said that just disturbed me for the thought that, okay, um, a dragon god gave birth to a clown? <laughs> <laughs> My head literally hurts. The tad tones. You look surprisingly happy for something that's going to be utter shit. <laughs> I'm going to have to start hunting in this water for stuff? Joy! This is the bane of every person who played this game. You'll need the water earrings, so water won't hurt you. Wait. So here we go, worst part of the game. <laughs> and, you know, sadly we were, you know, talking about escort missions with dumbass robots, too. Hmm. Under the fuck this! Under the fuck this! So this is how the Tad Tones mechanic works out. Uh, each individual piece of the song is laid out as individual Tad Tones. So 
in cases where it's like, say, a series of eighth notes, there'll be eight of them, either in a line or in a circle or what have you, and you need to collect all of them in that section uh, within a certain amount of time or they reset. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, um, there's at least one nice thing about this. There are a couple of them, actually. Uh, touching the tad tones will refill your air a little bit, and, um... A spin attacking underwater will attract the tatones to you. So it's only like um, that eases it up somewhat, but it's still not a fun part of the game. <laughs> what are they detracting you for hurting yourself? They're just running up going, ah! <laughs> oh shit. They still don't explain why there's a bunch of fish in, the, in this forest now. But whatever. At least you're almost done, looks like. Wait, wait, there were four bars, weren't there? Uh, three. Oh, God. Suck my dick, Zelda. This is ridiculous. They're not spaced that far apart, but when you get a good way into it, they will be. Just by the nature of you having collected each of them in spots. So, um, I do do the favor of editing out me uh, not act actively seeing any of them and sniffing them out, because that's not worth seeing. Is there any kind of rhyme or reason to their location, or is it just randomly, sporadically placed? They're just randomly placed. I think uh, you'll see ones on the same measure uh, around each other, but I don't know for sure. Wait, was that one of those little octopus tribal guys, too? Yeah, they'll give you hints if you talk to them. Not helpful hints. Stuff you already know, but hints nonetheless. And poison bubbles, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, those will drown you if you touch them. God, this water god's a dick. Yeah, because we needed that caveat while we're playing this. <laughs> dick move, water god. Dick move. And now, for some reason, these guys show up. <sighs> okay, seeing one stupid creature is enough, but seeing two in a row, I can't stand this. Yeah, and they... Pretty much don't bother me. <laughs> it's like, anyway, back to the pleasantness, huh? Yep, they stay up near the top of the water. And you'll remember, even though everyone's scared of them, they're not a problem. I spin attack into their face twice and they're dead. You think a creature they would talk about going like, oh, those dangerous creatures would be like a one-hit kill sort of situation, but since they're kind of... weak? Best way to put it, maybe? <laughs> Something that's so silly. Headbutting a fish into a wall. Yeah. And missed, whatever. That's a hint. <laughs> Wink! Wink! By the way, we did that much earlier. <laughs> but you needed a hint. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Strike three. Yep. He's in the water drive. Thank you! Thank you! Why are you pedaling your bike underwater? Resistance! Give me the rupee! No! <laughs> Five rupee! <laughs> oh, this. Could kill me! Fuck! Um. <laughs> I'm not having a good day. <laughs> Could this day get any worse? Well, there is a part two to this video. <laughs> Christ. Link just can't put all the pots away. Oh. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> what wacky happenstance. Is this the third line at least? Uh, they're not in order. Fuck. What do you have to say? What do you have to say? Say it to my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you talk to it, blow right into it. Oh, please. Thanks for the hint. Where the tadpoles are, or whatever. I haven't seen a single one, what the hell? <laughs> Into the tree. <laughs> no, I'm underwater, like, a hundred yards away from you. Yeah, you're gonna love when I go up and actually talk to him. 
It's basically a fuck you from the developers. And it actually becomes necessary for me to figure out where the last of them are. Why? Because it shows its ball sack's ball sack? <laughs> it takes up its pants, got a smaller ball sack on its ball sack. You're like, oh! Okay, so look at this passage. You see how many of those tad tones there are. Imagine if you missed one, you have to redo all of it. This is another reason why people hate this part of the game. Or hate this game, maybe. Hmm. It adds up, I'll be honest. I don't hate... I have to I have to reinforce that I don't hate this game. It's just the padding becomes unbearable in the final third of it. Can I say that it seems like a kind of common theme that we want, that we end up playing these games by the end of it we're just like fuck. It's just kind of becoming another one of our trademarks. Oh look, there's one. Fucked up sense of humor and <laughs> Don't stick around for the final third of a game. <laughs> stick around for us, damn it. Mm. We're not doing this alone. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like it. Oh. So what do you want to talk to me about again? It says see you again after five minutes. We'll figure out a way. I'm wasting time talking to you. <laughs> oh, they're broke. Okay. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> <Scholar> joke! <laughs> Good. And... Oh, we actually get a sensor for these things? Yeah. So, about halfway through it, we finally get the option to douse for them. You turn around, Fee, Fee just, you know, just shrugs, and you turn over to that ball thing, it flips you off. <laughs> Might as well, at this point. And you know what the ir ironic part is, probably, that you can't douse underwater. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Fuck this game! <laughs> and a slightly annoying is once you've gotten the ability to douse for it, it basically becomes a crutch. Every time I find a new set of tad tones, I have to go to the surface to search for new ones. Because I can't trust myself to find them normally now. And now we have water shoes? Yeah... Nice. Okay. It's about the best I got. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything clever related to that. Now the last of tadpoles are up in the tree for some reason. Yeah. At least one of them we need to get up onto the tree to uh, get to them. I'm sure that's kind of silly and plus I'd imagine at this point it'd be like you know, if you didn't know that for sure, you would have been stuck like that for a long time. Mm hmm Yeah, like, if you didn't know that was here, it probably took you, like, an hour to find out. Stupid yellow shrimp. Let me guess, you're gonna play this with your, uh, harp. Somehow, because it really can really pick notes like this. It's like a hip hop beat. <laughs> Thanks. The f that's the final note. Oh. Please don't shake or inflate. The shake inflate. Yeah. Thanks. He's saying that while you're stabbing him, just like, FUCK YOU! Listen to the bass on this lady. It's like Cher. It is, actually. If I could turn back time. And just like Cher, that thing's probably very ancient. <laughs> Zing! Oh, <laughs> wait! <laughs> I still love his instant celebration <laughs> with a harp. That was beautiful. Ah! <laughs> uh, Look at this! <laughs> like ADD, just wanted to show it to the class. He brought something to show the rest of the class. Look at my harp! Look at it! <laughs> Starts beating the kid next to him. Look at it! <laughs> Wait, we have uh, two more of these, right? Two more. Just one more for this video. 
Well, at least everything is back to normal. <laughs> you get back there, by the way, the desert's flooded. Fuck you, water dragon! <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even your domain! <laughs> no longer even a desert anymore! Wait, that's a good thing. Fuck, I'm confused! <laughs> Look, I'm really confused, said Fuku. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to have fun with you, what the hell? And look, the bird statue. Wonder when we could've used that. Mm. Still think you just rub through the trees. <laughs> Did that sh ow ow ow! <laughs> branch, branch, branch. Should a branch on the way up fall back down. Yeah. <laughs> You're just laying on the ground, that little handkerchief just falls right in your face. <laughs> Final mocking moment. So here's the Armageddon event part two. The volcano erupts. Volcano's training a spirit ball here for some reason. And we get blown off course. <laughs> I like his wacky legs. Whoa! So, did that need to happen? No! <laughs> Scarlet Sword, everybody! Ugh, I'm glowing with red. So, wait, it's the prisoner level now? Mm hmm. Time for a stealth mission. Oh god, not you. Oh god, Molly the Snitch. You just start. You're almost like Luffy, you just walk down and shove it back into the hole slowly. Just go, okay, go back. <laughs> I think that was kind of a. almost callback to uh, Wind Waker. Because I went to pick up the barrel, and I think the game was kind of teasing that you might use it as cover. But it's like, no, you just do the mole thing again. <laughs> oh my god, is this a touch nostalgia? Psych! You gotta do something you don't like! Yay! <laughs> I feel like this third of the game, Miyamoto was just like, I'm gonna go get a drink of water, I'll be right back. Alright, we'll talk about this. Then they plan like, one third of the game. <laughs> Are we guys talking about, oh, nothing, we got nothing done. Hoi, hoi, hoi! I like how the Magma basically handed me a sprite. <laughs> wow. That was a Kung Fu on <laughs> Hey. Where's my phone call? Where's my phone? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> my favorite! <laughs> Shouldn't have put it in there with the prisoner. So, yep, stealth mission. Oh, yeah, because you don't have your weapons with you. Yeah. Basically, the entire thing for this section of the game is getting uh, one of our weapons back at a time, and then we use that individual weapon to get another one, and just slowly progresses until we can get all of our equipment back. That happened to be in the shape of tadpole notes. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> it basically is the same damn thing. It is. Well, at least it's a different kind of... Oh, and they have so little faith in you, they spawned a Sheikah statue here. <laughs> Just in case you need a hint. I'm sure there's a lot of five-year-olds who are just like, I'm gonna leave now, we. <laughs> Could I walk ten feet without your help? <laughs> Shouldn't you not be walking around with no way to defend yourself? That's a decision, right? <laughs> That's a clue, isn't it? So now we get sneaky music. As if we didn't already know what was going to happen. This place is just more and more getting taken over by, like, criminal organizations here. Yeah. So the idea is we want to stay out of any of searchlights or uh, lanterns that the Bokoblins might be carrying because they have a, a catapult up on the uh, Earth Temple. <laughs> like, little, you know, I just worry about you. It's a weakness of mine. Are you coming on to me? <laughs> We've met once. I stabbed you <laughs> in the ass. It was love at first stab! In the ass! It's how we magmas flirt, you see. <laughs> My throat is really clogged. I can't do that voice. <laughs> when we're underground, we can't see each other, so, yeah. You got like a half half chance to stab me in the asshole. And I took those chances, damn it! <laughs> Are you gonna drop kick him off the thing? <laughs> I wish. Oh no! No! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> what was even the point of that? Because they can't even hurt you. Is it just one of those moments where you just try to freak out, like, oh, I'm gonna sneak past them. Fuck you! <laughs> So yeah. Yeah. Remember how fun this was for the first time we did it? No. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> Good. I hope I hurt myself. Shit. <laughs> yes, I remember. The time I burned my ass with the bomb. No, I saw what the Magma was talking about. I'm keeping my distance that time. <laughs> I'm shy, okay? Don't you attack him with the claws? No. These goblins aren't exactly strong. You'd think they'd plan ahead, but no. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I you notice any time we get close to a magma, the music uh, dims and we hear Dumple's heartbeat. Dumple has a heart? Can you believe it? <laughs> They're just killing things for fun. Yo! Of course. Because we missed this guy, too. Because that was our favorite temple. Oh, jeez. Stab him in the butt. <laughs> See, it's a ritual thing. It's either done for friend or foe. I love you! Oh, shit, where'd you go? Um. So I'm like, I'm not gonna bother. Fuck that guy. <laughs> I'm sick of this. Always a good decision. Hmm. First weapon? First weapon? Judging by the uh, little lava pits hanging around, it's the Gust Bellows. <laughs> fuck you if it was just like the slingshot, like, oh god damn it. <laughs> we do get the slingshot in this, but it's not for a while. Because that would be remotely useful. I was gonna say, by then it wouldn't be useless, wouldn't it? You'd think that. I'm trying my best here. It's kind of the most useful thing we could get at this point. Aside from, you know, a weapon! <laughs> I can't see past these grates for some reason. Even though you're right there. You just got shitty spotlights, they don't move. Can you just blow him? <laughs> Ooh. That tickled! Who are you? <laughs> I'm Goblin! I'm Goblin too! Alright, back to Goblin Patrol! <laughs> Didn't say they were that smart. Shit, shit, shit! Ha! <laughs> Cutscene! <laughs> Safety of a cinematic. So, of course, it freezes time. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, dear. I like how you don't have to kill this guy. You can just outrun him, right? Yeah. Uh, uh. You know what, because if you had to kill each one, this would take forever. Mm. Don't I know it. Alright, this better be a more useful weapon than the... Dust, Gust fellow, whatever. Well, we do use that to travel, <laughs> so... True. You just can't kill them anymore. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> you attach them to your claws, like, now I have double claws. <laughs> Uh, oh, thanks for putting it in a place where I can't see it. Thanks, Dumple's ass. <laughs> Thank you, Dumple's ass. <laughs> you should be not upset at this, but in this situation, yes. <laughs> this is not a situation where I would thank your ass. <laughs> but the moles certainly would. Stab Thank you, ass! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to go down there just yet. Or maybe we do, I can't remember. <laughs> At this point, who knows? So you notice everything is very conveniently blocked off by volcanic rock. Why wouldn't it be? Those are some pretty hardy vines, too. Yeah. <laughs> They're sticking out <laughs> despite the volcanic eruption. Hearts on fire! Okay. And I did check later, there's really nothing in those little alcoves. So it's a wasting time moment, basically. Hmm. I don't know what's over. Oh. If someone in the thread wants to correct me, go ahead. The um, 
collection video after the next video will be partially of requests from the thread of things I might have missed or what have you. So, um, don't say it just yet. Check to see if I go into the temple and I don't find anything. I wouldn't say it's a temple, it's just a little place, but, um... After this video and the next one, go ahead and say if there's anything I might have missed so far. I'll put that in the final video. Or, uh, like, part 28, I think. And because after that final collection video goes up, we're just burning through to the end of the game. What happens when the actual uh, Bokoblins find you? Do you have to start over, or...? Uh, I think... I mostly know that there's a catapult, but I haven't been caught. What the fuck? <laughs> I was just waiting for that, really. <laughs> So this is how we neutralize the watchtowers. I like how none of these things have actually gotten any of the Bokoblin's attention. <laughs> Still searching! And I'll search for the rest of my life. And that was a fuck you moment. Let's turn the chest around to the other side. <laughs> I like how you get in the non-weapons first. Mm. So you can keep that still helpless feeling. I mean, it makes sense. It's just this kind of... Eh. Yeah, he didn't see me. <laughs> This lantern has a very short reach. I can see you! Oh. Uh. <laughs> That's all I got. So we use the whip to summon a pea hat. You summon the pea hat gods. And that's it. <laughs> Is that the only time we actually use the whip? I think so. It's so stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there seems to be one where you get something where you don't even use it at all. You get your slingshot bat. Anyway, let's go on. <laughs> You'll see what we do with the slingshot. Will I be surprised? I don't know. I really don't know at this point. <laughs> this kind of guy has a Donkey Kong Country music feel to it. Kind of. You know, in hindsight, these, uh, these monsters are kind of blocking weird places. <laughs> Why are they guarding a volcano, anyway? If anyone makes it up here, they die by a volcano. Understand that. Well, why are we guarding it? Uh, <laughs> treasure, I think. What'd Rick tell you? <laughs> yes, their leader is Rick. That's just like our go-to name for an asshole. <laughs> Pretty much is. If there's anyone named Rick who's watching this, you're probably an asshole, so... You just have to live with that fact. <laughs> we're not judging you, we're just totally judging you. We're not judging you, just fuck you. <laughs> we're not judging you, we're just not hanging out. Because <laughs> otherwise it'd be harder to judge you. Yep, exactly. <laughs> what was the point of that? The point of that was to use this to kind of screw this up. <laughs> Fuck up, montage. I was about to say, doesn't it kind of ruin the whole... <laughs> I get used to this. <laughs> okay, I finally did it right. <laughs> Fuck you, Jim! <laughs> I got really bored. No kidding. There is a slingshot. Scatter shot, actually. I made it useful. Sort of. Shotgun. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd really be fuck you if they gave you the slingshot but not the bag with the shots and you're like, oh. <laughs> Why? Can he kill the Bokoblins with a slingshot? No, but, but it does have a use against them. <laughs> Ow, my eyes! Kind of, actually. And I'm down to one heart, you know? This the... <laughs> Holy shit! People <laughs> are kind of stumbling around, kind of drunk. <laughs> Uh, you'll notice that it isn't playing that dee ding dee ding thing. That's because, um, way back at, like, the start of the LP, I, um, homebrewed the Wii, and I, that's one of the things I took out, because, um, there were a couple of really good ideas they did for, uh, Twilight Princess that they decided, fuck that, we don't need it. And one of that was making the, um, your, your dying tone... Not annoying. They made it annoying again in Skyward Sword. So I just 
straight up took it out. <laughs> it's kind of stupid of those Bokoblins to be like, Oh god, I got shot with a slingshot! Anyway, let's keep searching. <laughs> I had short-term memory loss a bit. So apparently the uh, watchtower light is connected to his face. <laughs> he runs it by chewing gum. <laughs> Down a flavor, keep going! Okay, what was the point of putting him in three directions like that? <laughs> One bomb can take him out. And now we get a weapon back this time. A lethal weapon. It's the bombs. <laughs> Is the ball and chain? Thank God. <laughs> that would have ruled. You can just imagine goblins just like, where are you, big ball and chain larger than them's flying towards them slowly? <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Aww. You fly into the explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Did it. Hey, you you know, you are kind of living in the danger zone here, considering you only have one heart. Yeah, I'm freaking out while recording this. What happened to them? Did Shadar steal them all? Uh. Mm. Do you have your face? <laughs> I still want to see a very detailed expression of him doing finger guns. <laughs> like one of those Spongebob or Ren and Stimpy cases where it's just oh, really yeah. realistic. Hyper-realistic and just that close-up. Just seeing way too many wrinkles in a crazy yeah. eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, a bomb explosion. Anyway, where'd he go? <laughs> I like how you're still having this heartbeat thing going on, like they're gonna catch you, and you're just like, oh god, they're gonna catch me, bomb. Anyway, they're gonna catch me. Just be very quiet. Hey, you're gonna this for me. Yeah, choking it. There's a rattlesnake behind me, isn't there? <laughs> That was a twofer. I'm very proud of that. Made up for all the spaz bombing, I suppose. <laughs> but not really. <laughs> it made it seem like I've gotten better. Yep. You've learned. You've learned part 27 or 28 in. <laughs> 26. Okay, fair enough. Is it? Let me check. Yeah, it's part 26. Okay. <laughs> Just don't run into any electric shoes, or that point's completely destroyed. Yeah. Wow. He has no depth perception or any kind of a uh, sign that you're near him. You stood right next to me, he's like, oh, hey! <laughs> Thank God you weren't a guard! Well, I'm amazed I am not dead. I'll be honest. Whose life force do you need to absorb here? Oh shit! Bad, 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 bad! <laughs> That bat's like, he's weak and get him! Keyboard didgeridoo! <laughs> Digital wall wall wall. <laughs> like, yeah, Master Sword! Ooh, five rupees! <laughs> <laughs> it's got a war! I got my sword back and fee. <laughs> He put the sword back, run away. <laughs> you know what? Asking for an apology for all of that. I basically now blame you for everything, Fee. <laughs> or uh, or the robot, one or the other. <laughs> you know what? You two are made for each other. Mm. Projectile, yeah. Take that with my wind scar. It's just so silly that I'm running with the sword straight up and they're like, ah, I'm winning! <laughs> really, aside from the stealth, the gimmick of this whole section is that now there are moving lava platforms, because lava works like that. I like how there's this, there's that heart piece that fell out of that monster tempting you in the middle of the lava. <laughs> yeah. I'm, you wanna live? I don't know what's the Bokoblin saying that, just standing at the edge of the cliff. Come on! <laughs> do it! <laughs> Bokoblin with the fishing rod. Yep. <laughs> Looks tasty, doesn't it? That gauntlet almost looks like a fuck you. Like you could walk into one of those spiny things and die. It's such bullshit. 
damage, so there's nothing major here. Bats, fuck you, bats, fuck you. <laughs> Love of God, one's well, fine. I like it, now you're spat swing. <laughs> I wanna live, I wanna live, I wanna live. Yay, life. You're all fucked. Oh, they're already dead. For some reason, I just imagine Link running up to that thing and eating the heart. <laughs> <laughs> I live. All the money in the world can't buy you life. Nope. But at least I get my equipment back. Yay. <laughs> I like how it's just like, here is the whip and the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Like, those ones just didn't matter. Especially the beetle. Really, though. I don't- I, don't, I can't even remember last time you used that guy. Maybe it was that- oh yeah, it was that uh, shitty temple, that's right. <laughs> Nicely put. <laughs> Which one, you ask? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> you don't need to, you know exactly. In fact, it's like, probably right next door to where you are right now. <laughs> How ironic. All right, so again, the reason we're here is to meet the dragon of this place, and luckily, uh, his domain is right there. Have we met the dragon yet? Nope. The only dragon we've met so far is Faron, so we're gonna meet Elden for the first time. Let me guess, this guy has a temper because he's fire. He's actually kind of cool. <laughs> I just imagine him in sunglasses. <laughs> I'm so hot. It's just really bright in here. Sorry, I've been mean to get that fixed. That one too. <laughs> Brewing some iced tea in here. Shit, it's hot tea now. Sure, that was a puzzle, I guess. <laughs> it goes, eh, eh. I love the music starting to become that. Eh, eh. <laughs> There's a fire dragon. <laughs> fire shark, I guess. <laughs> Do you have to fight this dude? No. Nope. Lazy ass, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> even, even Double's like, what the hell? I think this guy gave birth to Clown. Look at those lips. <laughs> so, uh, this is awkward. Uh, I kind of saved from prison and all, but, you know, it's uh, kind of trapped because of those two gears. Whoa, what? <laughs> <laughs> Something's kind of hurting him. It looks like, oh, the, oh! Whoa, that's an awkward camera movement. I like how his voice is so resonant, his mustache is tweaking. It's so beautiful. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Need a guitar solo in that. Or I guess an electric harp solo. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Plays with his teeth. <laughs> Breaks the string. Shit, where's the roadie? <laughs> Zelda coming. <laughs> kind of 5,000 years old. You'll have to ear way through that to get a guitar string. It's very metal of you. <laughs> so now everything is back to normal. Although there are there is some uh, residue, as it were, left over from that seg uh, segment. Occasionally there will be like little grates and fences around, and um, the moving lava platforms are still there. Also, hi guys. I don't know why you didn't see me. <laughs> I know you just walked right past them. Look, it's really early in the morning. <laughs> Fuck your compound. <laughs> oh, that was breakfast. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I just thought of you just landing in lava and lava just throwing you onto the shore. <laughs> no, I don't want you. <laughs> oh, and another thing, the uh, watchtowers that we knocked down will still be there. They build up pretty quick. Yeah. I wonder if one bomb knocks him over. That means the one, the, uh, the ones that have been knocked down will still be knocked down. And okay, just hang good. in there. 
I thought those were fish for a minute. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we needed one. I still don't like those bouncy stone things. They physically make no sense. <laughs> so I, I think that guy basically hinted that we could talk to uh, Elden about things. <laughs> Fuck you, bombs. <laughs> and from the looks of it, there's nothing here. Hey, a fairy. Stab you! I was about to say, it's kind of needed right now. Yeah, to be fair. Oh, and uh, remember this little alcove? I finally realized what to do. Boom! <laughs> God! <laughs> well, so apparently the goddess cubes have no traction. <laughs> They're all made of rubber. <laughs> the god element of rubber. Ah! <laughs> yeah, sure. We can give it a shot. Shoot those vines, they'll knock down to you, maybe. Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Uh, uh, uh. Climbing Dumple. Climbing Dumple. <laughs> sounds as bad as it sounds, it's Climbing Dumple. <laughs> Why is this a children's show? All this padding makes this game blow. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> it comes another shitty dungeon of repetition. Imagine if someone was just watching this. <laughs> just standing there like, hmm. I'm a tourist in this town and I'm kind of weirded out here. There you, you're saying, imagine watching this as they're watching our LP. Imagine someone actually watching our LP. <laughs> That'd be weird. So I guess we're moving on to the last temple and finally have all the music that we need, I suppose. Uh, I, I guess. Um, <laughs> you guess. I guess. I don't know. I didn't play this game. So let's be honest. Uh, playing that was worse than it was commentating it, as is the want for this. Like, for pretty much all of our videos. <laughs> it's hard to say, though. I mean, I can see some elements of just kind of maybe a calming effect, but at the same time, it's... Eh. Of course, we don't see all the parts where things go wrong. Mm-hmm. You have to do the tadpole part over and over again. Thankfully, I knew what I was doing for the most part for that one. Or just seeing you go fast motion with the bomb things. I'm sure that would have been a pain in the ass otherwise. <laughs> I'm sure you're just yelling at the screen, I'm fast-forwarding through this, I'm fast-forwarding through this. <laughs> So, yeah, that was the Armageddon part of this game. If you've ever seen Armageddon. Hi. Because you, you just, you know, like for this Let's Play, you just don't want to close your eyes. You definitely <laughs> don't want to fall asleep. Because fuck Aerosmith. 